We love Luna. We love Luna. Love my dog Luna. So Will Smith, um, he's actually decided to resign from the Academy over the, the backlash of him assaulting Chris Rock on Sunday on the Oscar stage. Now, you know, he was all crying and everything. You know, this was during his acceptance speech. And when you saying that, you know, love makes you do cr uh, crazy things. And that was like a justified statement of at that moment why he decided to assault Chris Rock, who was completely wrong on so many levels. And, you know, from pulling from all different sources, some people saying like, hey, you know, security wanted him to leave and LAPD was actually on standby from the investigation. But they said Chris Rock kind of halted at the LAPD, but they said that was not true. And it was a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, but I think that's a little bit more credible is that Will Packer at the time, who, who was the producer of the show, did not want Will Smith to leave. So that's why I feel like, you know, the whole thing, why he was still there and he was still able to, you know, win his award and go in here to make an acceptance speech and go to an after party. But, uh, you know, I don't know, like I said, for the press, Will Smith, he still don't seem to me that he was a little bit of contrite. But for the most part, all he did was, hey, he had a, he was voted out to he had to write, uh, give out a 15 day. He had 15 days to give out like a real response of why he decided to do what he did on that stage. OK. And um, protect him for the medical condition, defending his wife's honor, but it didn't have to escalate to that level. Now the thing is, is that you know he's um, he said it's not fair to the, you know, to the King Richard, you know, producers and Serena Williams family, Venus uh, Williams family, and uh, the World of Tennis, uh, the directors, things of that nature. So I'm gonna go ahead and read a little bit more here. It says. Will Smith is facing possible explosion and suspension after he assaulted Chris Rock during last Sunday's Oscar telecast and has instead resigned from the Academy of Motion Pictures of Arts and Sciences. This is huge. So the move comes as an actor is embroiled as the gravest crisis of his career in the organizations of the Academy Awards. And what people call it as shocking, it was painful, it was inexcusable, that's what he said. And Will Smith said he acted out in emotion. The list of those I have heard is long and includes Chris, his family, many of my dear friends and loved ones, and all those in attendance, and the global audience at home. Now, pretty much overshadowed the whole Oscar ceremony, overshadowed the the actors, the hardworking actors, the producers, the songwriters uh, for these particular films, and the artists, artistry, and the creativity of film. You know, and because it is, you know, pretty much the world's focus is on this slap because of what you did and. It's pretty much very heartbroken. <laughs> My dog is pretty good. Smith also announced that his actions overshadow other winners in the 94th Academy Awards. He said, I will put to focus back on those who deserve attention for their achievements and allow the Academy to get back to an incredible work it does to support creativity, artistry, and films, he stated, concluding with change takes time and I am committed to doing the work to ensure that I never again allow violence to overtake reason. She's on her back. During the ceremony, Smith charged the stage and struck Rock during the broadcast after Rock made a joke about the actor's wife, Jada Pickett Smith, likening her shaved head to a buzz cut sport by Demi Moore from the G.I. Jane. Pickett Smith uh, suffered from hair loss with alopecia. The Academy later said it asked Smith to leave the ceremony and he refused. However, sources tell Bright that the organization leaders never formed the requested to be ejected by producer Will Packer that I actually, you know, talked about it. Uh, moving on, uh, it was certain that Smith ended up remaining at the Dolby Theater. He did. You know, he was at the Dolby Theater. He's still there. Still did his thing. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, it was just so disappointing, man. Uh, on Monday, he said Smith finally apologized to Rock, saying I was out of line and I was wrong. He added that he reacted emotionally because of a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear. After initially offering up a statement that said it did not condone violence, the Academy followed up with two subs subsequent I'm sorry, uh, statements that more forcefully criticized Smith. On Wednesday, the group said Smith had violated the Academy standards of conduct and that he had 15 days to provide a written response explaining his actions. The organization said Smith faced suspension, expulsion, and other sanctions. Yeah, uh, it's going to be like a lot of money. It's going to be some fines. And um, yeah, it, it's they said it might be talks that he may have his Oscar taken away. I don't think they should go that far, but... He's not going to be invited to another ceremony again, but I already seen this coming, man. He's crashing and burning, man, at this moment. I mean, he still have money, and he still has some films in the work right now, and 
<laughs> he's still working. I know, nah, I'm talking about the dog. He's still working with uh, a lot of great actors in this moment. Um, but I don't know if it's going to become to a halt, man. So, like I said, the only thing we can do is that uh, like, I'm glad that Chris Rock is continuously do what he needs to do. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't no aggravated saw. It could have been worse. He could have been punched. He could have been hit. Oh, my goodness, man. But it's just on the stage, like, in front of everyone. I mean, if you really have some some bad blood between each other, man. You know, I heard that they was going back, you know, because Chris Rock was making jokes about Jada since the 90s, I guess. And, you know, he's criticizing her in 2016 when she wanted to boycott the Oscars because her husband at the time, uh, you know, husband, Will Smith, wasn't nominated for, you know, an Oscar, you know, Best Actor during concussion film in 2016. So she wanted all African-Americans to boycott it. Like, you know, so, and Chris Rock was like, well, you wasn't invited anyway. You know, he referenced to the Rihanna panties and then... <laughs> It is what it is. The guy is witty, but at the same time, man, you know, you as a man, it would have been interesting. It would have been interesting if we heard some news backstage or something. I'm not saying go ahead and hit him, but if they would have had a strong or a grown man conversation, you know, backstage, instead of just you assaulting him, now you're looking at as the bad guy. Like, you know, you got to think this is your career. You know, you got to think this is like millions of people watching. You know, come on. So, uh, you acting on impulse. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm not surprised that Will Smith is resigning. I think he should. And he has some time to think about this. But I want Chris Wright to continuously to, you know, flow through with his Eagle Death Tour. He's making this money, man, and people are seeing him. And I heard that he was at the movie theater, too, solo, enjoying his time. Just the simple pleasures of life, as they will say. So, which is really good. So, until I get any more information, you guys continue to stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I'm going to dump these videos at you guys, man, because I love doing them, man, and reporting the news. That's all I really have to say. I'm out. Deuces.